Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 43 Team Doubles gameplay. This is Slayer Pro on Rail. And this commentary will be primarily about how to start off a game on Rail. It may seem pretty simple, and I want to tell you that it isn't very simple, and the start of a game determines a lot of the outcome of a game. Uh, you can go up by a lot, and you can pretty much make the other team quit a lot of the time if you have a good start. So, you'll notice right off the bat I went for overshield, and their team didn't send anyone. That's a huge mistake on their part, um, and you also saw that with overshield I was able to get a double kill and get snipe control. Overshield guarantees snipe control if you are a decent player, and your teammate's also a decent player, and he knows somewhat what he's doing. Um, so, you should always send one to overshield. You'll notice sometimes when you play doubles on rail, the other team will send two people to overshield. Uh, the mentality behind that is probably if they have two people rushing, then maybe one of them is a little bit ahead of the other one and may end up with the overshield. Uh, that is an extremely bad idea in my opinion. Um, other people may disagree with me, but the reason I think you should only send one to overshield is the difference in you and your teammate like the distance between you as you both run for overshield is so negligible that it pretty much doesn't make that much of a difference it's pretty chancy to think that your teammate or you will be slightly ahead of the other one just enough to get overshield but i think it's just it's pretty uh optimistic it's pretty idealistic so that doesn't always work out so if you send one person chances are they will be about as fast as you know both of you would be if you both if you sent both of you so that's reason number one reason number two is if the other team gets overshield then you will only have one death whoever gets overshield in the beginning like 95 percent of the time ends up killing one person the other person who rushed it or if two people rush overshield they end up killing two of the people so if the other team gets overshield, uh, there will only be one death there. If you get overshield, you can get an automatic kill, and then you can push snipe where your teammate is fighting their other teammate. So, always send one person to overshield. And another thing you should know that's extremely important when you're starting rail is you have to be aware of what team color you are. So, if you are on the red team, you have to run left for overshield. Uh, if you don't know what I was doing there, I was trying to throw off Snipe because I knew I was going to die. But uh, I ended up failing at that. So if you are on red team, you have to go left for the overshield. So before the game, you should decide, do you want to go for overshield or Snipe? You talk to your teammate. Or if they have no mic, which always happens in doubles, very frustratingly, but it always happens. Uh, if they have no mic, then just tell them, I'm going for overshield, you go right, I go left. If you spawn on, or if you're the blue team, then overshield is to the right. So you should always know where you are going and what team color you are. I know you may think this is a bit extreme, but when you get to high level doubles, the other team knows which direction they're going as well. So <laughs> it really is all just to, you know, outplay your opponents, you know, outthink them, and, you know, you're going to have to do it in super competitive matches. So, let's say you do send one person to overshield and you end up getting it, and you get a kill off the bat, where do you want to go? Usually, there is a, a fight over overshield in the beginning, and there's a fight over snipe in the beginning. And if you get overshield, obviously you know there's a fight going on in snipe, and... You can always tell your teammate if you get overshield, like play passively, you know, stay back, try to stay alive, and then you rush into snipe and you end up picking off the second person. Or, you know, your your teammate is picked off, but you end up cleaning him up. So after you get overshield, you know, 90% of the time I'd say run to snipe. Because there will almost always be someone there, and if there isn't, there's gonna be someone who will end up rushing snipe. So you should always send a person there. Or, uh, always send a person there off the bat, and uh, if you get overshield, always go there. So you can see that my teammate and I are getting overshield a lot in this game, and that's another thing about starting off the game. If you start off the game and you get the first overshield, although the other team can time it, 
you know the exact time when the overshield spawns. Every minute and a half on rail, so you just do the math in your head. You get used to the times that it spawns, and you should always be ready, always set up on that part of the map to put yourself in a good position to get overshield. So, um, I want to talk to you about what you do if you go to snipe in the beginning of the match. I usually go to overshield, but uh, it also depends. Um, so if you go snipe in the beginning of the match, then you should play pretty passively. What I usually do is start walking down the ramp. I nade their ramp uh, with two nades because you know if they don't rush on the first nade, chances are they're pretty. People play pretty aggressively when they have the snipe battle, so you got to toss you know one or two nades. I recommend tossing both. I mean you might as well, and. Uh, you know, just try to keep them off of it because your teammate may get overshield and he can help you out. Or you may end up getting a nade on them and picking them off. Or you can just out PR them and you can end up getting the snipe. But if you do end up getting the snipe, always look down to overshield. Because if your teammate didn't kill the guy or if your teammate got taken out by the overshield guy, then you can get a snipe or two or three on the overshield guy and you may end up getting a kill. So that's extremely important. If you get overshield, look snipe. If you get snipe, look overshield. Um, so that match was pretty short, uh, 30 to 18, and it ended up with 20 kills. Once again, that was a CSR 43 gameplay. And I hope you enjoyed learning about how to start off on rail. Uh, I know you may think I'm overthinking it, but all of those things really matter in the end. And if you have a good start on rail, that makes a huge difference um, for the rest of the game. So that is all. So like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And more gameplays to come. As always, see you later.